<sighs> okay, so at the, st at the um, time of this recording, the 100 sub special has just gone up. I wanted to once more thank each and every one of you, and uh, that should tell you how uh, more or less ahead I am than you guys pretty much in the recording at least. Uh, I've also gotten a couple of deck suggestions at the time of this recording as well by Jay, and um... I'd have to go back and look at his name, and I think it may have been CJ. But I will be getting to those really soon here. And uh, those will probably go up before I even uh, upload this. Uh, the last part I actually ran a little bit too long of the Modern World playthrough, so I'm gonna try to be more mindful of that, and try to keep it relegated to around 15 to 20 minutes, because not everyone has uh, a half hour to watch, you know, a whole video. Uh, there are other things that people have to take care of during the day, like for me, for example, uh, I'm actually in the process of clearing out some stuff in my room here, because I am actually going to be getting my very first kitty here pretty soon in uh, December, and I'm very much looking forward to that. We already got a name picked out and everything, and I'm going to rescue one. Uh, hopefully a kitten, and I want to raise it. And it's going to be my buddy, it's going to be my best friend, so I'm very, very much looking forward to that. And I envy any of you out there who already have your cat because they are just, to me, the best. They're easily my favorite thing in the world. And we've already gone ahead and gotten the five Yoshi coins in this level. So don't have to worry about that one. And now we're on to Vanilla Secret 3. And this is the level of the dolphins. In the Japanese port, you can eat them. In the USA versions, you can't, except the GBA port brought it back. Uh, they're worth a coin each if you eat them for whatever reason. I don't know why you'd want to eat a dolphin unless you're really that much into fish food. And uh, speaking of food, a lot of the levels in this game must have made me hungry. For example, Soda Lake and Cheese Bridge. Very, very carefully, I'm gonna abuse the heck out of this jerk puffer fish. And I lost Yoshi in the process. Terrific. Oh well, I can always go back and get another one. And uh, you'll notice that at the start of this, I started at the top secret area. That was just so that I could, uh... Make sure that everyone was, you know, and by everyone I mean Mario and Luigi. Uh, we just wanted to go back and make sure that they were both fully charged up with two capes and blue Yoshis. Because again, the blue Yoshis are going to make this a lot easier. And believe it or not, we're actually already halfway through the whole game. Uh, over more than halfway, I would say. But the part, uh, parts to come, including this one, I mean, it's still going to take a good while to get done with the game, just because the levels get a bit more difficult at this point, and a bit more intricate. Nothing, you know, too difficult, though. And plus, uh, having played as long as I have, it's, it's not going to be too bad at all, so... I'm trying my best to keep Yoshi here because you actually need him in order to easily get the secret exit. In the GBA port, you could, uh, if with enough well time presses, you could fly over it. Because for some odd reason, in the GBA port, there's no really. So there's not really a ceiling that's stopping you at some point when you're flying up in the sky. You can, uh, go above the exit goal very, very easily. It's a lot harder to do with Mario, and I still have not to this date done that with Mario on this stage, so I just I just do it that way. 
And uh, that is that is one other thing that the GBA port does differently, is it will keep track of which brother you used to do the stage on uh, whichever exit. And I'm gonna go back here now and get another Blue Yoshi because I want it. Gimme. No, but seriously, it's just gonna make this a whole lot easier. Happy right now, I'm still actually kind of suck. But a lot of people are very, very nice and appreciative of the content I put up. I personally don't think it's too great. And I don't expect to even get a million subs, but it's really flattering to see a few people that have that much faith in me. And very much appreciate it as well. And I don't think you can cave spin these guys, so just let them swim over you. And there's a cape feather if anybody needs that. Get this jerk cape spin. And uh, that trick that I talked about much earlier, the one where if you hold down mouse to make sideways, it's gonna make this part very, very easy for you to get through. Kill this jerk. Up our own bones. Let that go. And as you may have noticed, there was only one Yoshi coin so far in that whole segment. Yeah, they're kind of spaced out in, in this level. And there's one. Okay, I thought that was probably going to happen. We got four. That's Jerk Enemy placement right there. And hopefully this is a Cape Feather. Yes, okay, good. Got a halfway point. And um, one thing that I do really appreciate that the guy put in for this port, uh, because it was not in the GBA port, if you got the five Yoshi coins and you died and you got a halfway point, then you were pretty much screwed until you beat Bowser, so you could go back into that level again. Uh, and do another level like this anyway, because once you beat it, you're, you can't come back until you beat Bowser. And uh, if you want to get get it as cleared, you have to get the Yoshi coins without dying. Uh, this version's a lot more forgiving. You can get the five Yoshi coins, die, and when you come back in, they'll still all be collected, including on the world map. So that, that's a little feature I do appreciate very much. And a bit of fun trivia in my last playthrough I did with my brother on this was I did something really stupid and boneheaded. Uh, so I beat Resnor here, and I got all the Yoshi coins, and then in the middle of the victory screen here, I was jumping across to land on another platform, and I was basically showing off like an idiot, and then I fell into the lava. And so we couldn't come back until the, um... Until the level respawned after beating Bowser, because we were playing the GBA port together. Just tossing the controller back and forth, pretty much. And I'm not gonna need Yoshi here, and in fact I prefer to do this level without Yoshi. Because it's very, very easy to get hit by a lot of things here. And oddly enough, this is also a much easier level if you're, uh, smaller. But it's also more dangerous that way, so I'm gonna hopefully try to keep both my cape feathers at all times here. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the only level in the entire game that has these torpedo tad jerks in it. And I don't think they've ever made an appearance since, unless I'm, anyone wants to correct me on that. I'm pretty sure they haven't. And I have no idea what the heck is with the Mickey Mouse hands tossing them out. <laughs> like seriously, look at the hands. It looks like freaking Mickey Mouse is tossing these out. to say, uh, Disney's so much better. Like, calm down, it is not that serious. And 
Unfortunately, I lost the cape feather, but no big deal. It's always why I'd like to have a spare. Oh, I'm not in a very good place here. Give me a sec. Quickly, 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 quickly. Thank you. Also, slightly more difficult with all the freaking bloopers here. Because they don't stop. They don't wander back and forth like cheap cheeps. I think I got through that relatively overall. Yeah, mostly painless. Like I said, I suck. I expect to like, get hit a few times, or surprisingly, I haven't died yet. I'm quite sure that's coming, though. And I expect everyone to laugh at me when that, when that does come. Oh, boy. This is probably my least favorite level in the game. There's just too much platforming on top of it being just an auto scroller. And a very, very slow auto scroller, mind you. But if you got a Blue Yoshi like I do here, you can abuse the heck out of just eating up all the Koopas and flying through it no problem. And now it gets interesting. <sighs> I had to say something and jinx myself. Carefully, I want to get this. Okay, good, I got it. This one's also somewhat tricky to get. And I would advise not spin jumping here at all. I wish I had my Yoshi here still. Nope. Freaking paratroopers. If, if I recall correctly, the next level is a lot more difficult to get all the coins in, on top of just being really hard. This level's not too bad at all. I'm gonna double check where I'm recording now. Yeah, we can do a couple more levels. I've been none of that sumo, bro. That was close. And I'm gonna take this with me for safety. I was kind of a dumb kid. These, uh, moles that come out as a kid, I always thought they were just coming out to want to hug you for some stupid reason. I don't know, I was kind of an idiot as a child. There's no Yoshi coin in here or anything, it's just, um, I have no idea what this part of the, part of the level here is for. It may, have been, it may have been a beta thing that was not used. And 
I need to be really, really careful here. Okay, we are back here already. It's also really scary coming across these guys because they jump. You know, you just gotta be really cautious. Because if you go for a jump, they could easily hit you from the side. And I stood there like an idiot. No, thank you. I'm not going back down there again. Oh, sweet Yoshi. Jerk. Oh, right. Eh, I want another cape feather. Mine. If you keep collecting those, uh, Sonali tokens, you will eventually get a 1-up. And then a 2-up, I think. I don't bother with it. In my opinion, they are probably Bowser's best ever enemy, and they're just incredibly versatile. And I think we will go ahead and do this one and then beat Ludwig, just so I can also save. Uh, this, this world is actually pretty short. And if I recall correctly, there is a Yoshi coin in the sky, so I'm gonna find that first. Careful. Also trying to make sure I don't get clipped by one of the flying Koopas. They're everywhere on this level. Especially if you're on the ground, a lot more coming. And I can't remember if there was uh, one or two of these in the sky. Okay, well I think it's a good thing that I did that anyway because I at least now know that um, really there, there aren't. And uh, okay good, I can go left here. I was afraid it wouldn't let me there. Was there a Yoshi coin in the sky? Because I think I went over here, and then where was the first Yoshi coin? Okay, I think this is the only one in the sky, so you can just very, very carefully go through the rest of the level. I think that's why they have so many enemies down here. And like getting all the Yoshi coins uh, more annoying. Skip over any. Yeah, there's one right down. Oh, there was one right down there. And I lost Yoshi. Terrific. Now, one of these pipes, you do go down, and there is another one. And uh, you're just gonna want to avoid the buzz sauce coming up. Careful. Oh, you know what? No, this is just for coins. I think there's no... no boss sauce. Okay. And out of paranoia, I'm just gonna keep advancing forward. I think the last one's coming up anyways. Yeah, there are way too many enemies here. Oh, you know what? That's the douche coin. Carefully. Okay, good. Alright, we're fine at this point. Just one last hurdle. And that does it for that level. And now, finally moving on. 
we have the only coupling in the game with a unique boss strategy, which is not all too impressive. So it's still really easy. And a lot of you may recognize that uh, first bit of the level there from a couple of the Mario creepypastas. Oh, did not mean to do that. Okay. I mean, they can be interesting. I was never really too much of a fan of those, though. And uh, in the original, there is no checkpoint here. They would add that in the GBA port. And thankfully, the guy who did the ROM included it here. Good day, points. Bonk. Bonk. Let's see if I can get a one up here. Oh, come on. I was barely even touching that. Oh well. And there should be a fire flower, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Just so I can have another power up at least. And I'm gonna put the cape back on. And here we have Ludwig. He'll spit out three fireballs. He'll spin towards you. And that was pathetic. Uh, try to have him facing you when he's, like, very far off to either side. Because if he goes off screen, you can't hit him or anything. And he'll just shoot fireballs from you safely off screen. Fire flower. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach him here. Nope. I've never struggled this badly with uh, Ludwig before. And that does it for Ludwig. I love that, and uh, it's funny, the hill actually keeps the bandage on the map screen as well. And next time we'll begin with what is probably my least favorite world in the game, just because it's basically the same levels twice a lot. Uh, this, this level, I'm sorry, this world's gimmick is a lot of nothing but secret exits, but uh, that'll be for next time. And I thank you all for tuning in. I will catch you later. Peace.